You are watching William Patterson University Television. Jesus Christ, I got to compete with that. If I did that, I'd cause three earthquakes in one minute. Jeez. Man, I, want, I always wanted to be a stand-up comedian, but I was afraid that people would laugh. <laughs> so I live in the town of West New York, where it's like, we got like five shootings a day, but that's on a good day. So I remember once, uh, I was trying to grab my guitar from the back of my car, right? And then I see this crowd of girls in this car, and it's just like, they compliment me. And it was like, I felt so good. They were just like, and they look at me. And they go like this. They go, damn, boy, nice ass. And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I felt so good. I was like, why don't girls like being complimented? So I just go upstairs. <laughs> I, <laughs> I go upstairs to my, uh, to my house, and I'm like, I open the door, and I'm like, mom, forget the steak. Give me a side. And then she's like, por fin, you're going to lose weight. There goes my two seconds of motivation. So I'm really, really bad at flirting. Like, I get blocked in real life. I'll try to sit next to somebody, and then they'll, like, teleport somewhere else. I'm the one who tries to ask for a pencil and get told that they got a boyfriend. <laughs> I'll bring flowers to the day, and she'll ask for the receipt, too. <laughs> so my dad is a very interesting hombre. He's like a real, real Hispanic, you know, he works seven days a week, he used to own a donkey when he was a kid. <laughs> He's told me to get a job since fourth grade, you know, purebred Hispanic. I have a very interesting relationship with him I call the banking system. It's not because I need money, because he thinks I need money. So I'm usually calling him like, hello, dad. He's like, get to get it. And I'm just like, how was your day? And he's like, what you want? And I was like, what you doing? And he's like, we're doing any, I'm doing stuff that you never do. Get a job. He thinks I'm going to school for business. <laughs> Imagine he finds out I'm going to school for comedy. He'd be the reason, I'd be the reason he starts wearing condoms. That hurt me. <laughs> so it's like, I remember the first time he got a Facebook, right? And that was really interesting because he wouldn't give a damn if I was like at a party with two girls next to me. He'd be the one typing like, see, si, this is me, hijo. No. I had to delete all of my performance photos. And the instant I forgot one photo, he starts untagging me from every one of his photos. Jeez, man. So in William Patterson University, there's this interesting class called Rethinking Disability where you learn basically about physical and mental disabilities. And I'm about to tell you all the misconceptions that I've read in this class. Let's start with the first disability, veganism. I mean, <coughs> I mean um, anxiety. <laughs> that was close. So if you think you don't have anxiety, you're wrong. Almost everyone has anxiety, unless you've never been on a date before. Anxiety is when, basically, anxiety is when you're home alone, you got no Wi-Fi, and you're trying to order pizza, and then you start stuttering every single letter 20 times to order a pizza. So you just call Domino's like, hello? And they're like, yes, welcome to Domino's. How can I help you? And you're like, can I, ha can I have a large pizza pie, please? And just when you think the suffering's over, it's not. They hit you with, sure, what's the address? And then you just hang up. You just, you just yeet the flip out of there, that's it. <laughs> the next disability I'm gonna talk about is depression. Now depression isn't when I'm addicted to ice cream and like listening to lo-fi music. <laughs> depression comes out of nowhere, like an erection. <laughs> depression is basically when, it's, to put it in context, it's like when you and your mom are hanging out at the grocery store and she meets an old friend, so you gotta stay there for like the next 10 years and they're talking about you. <laughs> Look guys, 
this is the most misconception of ADHD, okay? ADHD is not when, like, the 10-year-old kid is running around the bodega screaming, Mad lad! Mad lad! If you like this video in the next 10 seconds, I will give you a hug. That is not what ADHD is. For a kid, ADHD is when he's trying to do his schoolwork, and then he's trying to figure out the most scientific way to paint a cat. And for an adult, it affects them differently. For an adult, it's like when I'm trying to hang out with my girlfriend, and then suddenly it hits me. I forgot to do my science project 12 years ago. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Having a schizophrenic girlfriend isn't really that easy. It's mostly because of the fact that recently, with my girlfriend, she pretty much held like a butcher knife to my neck saying that I stole her kid and gave it to this vampire lord. But let me tell you, I got my depression cured real fast because I did not want to die yet. <laughs> Thank you.